Hello and welcome to Lightcast. My name is Stu. Today we're going to in Plymouth to discover Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> Yar me hearties. My name is Stu and today I'm here at the Plymouth Pirate Weekend to find all of the treasure and as much of the rum as I can. We've just arrived at the Plymouth Pirate Weekend and now we are walking towards where everybody seems to be congregating. We have a lovely uh, pirate-esque ship or this part era ship to our left here. Um, I think you have to pay to get on, so we won't be going on that anytime soon. We're a bit skint. Need that YouTube bunnies. And uh, further down, we have a band playing and some people dressed as real life pirates. And we're going to find out who has the best pirate joke of the day. Do what you want because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You are hard favored indeed. Being a pirate is a wretched thing. To lead us to a hidden box that's all locked up with locks and buried deep away. We'll dig up the box. We know it's full of precious booty. First, open the locks and then we'll say hooray! This microphone just got forced into my hand. But hi guys, I'm Spike. Uh, I'm with SBK Projects. I'm here with Blackcast. We've been stood at the Pirate Weekend for, I would say, about 10 minutes so far. And we've already found the first piece of treasure. Some say that this particular mobile phone, if touched, is guaranteed to give you gonorrhea for the rest of your life. So we've traveled far and wide so far, and now we've found ourselves the famous Captain Barbosa and his best friend, Captain Jack Sparrow, who seems to have sailed in on the Black Pearl somewhere. This random stranger, he's looking for the fabled LG-10 that fell into the ocean. The one that gives you gonorrhea as soon as you touch it. So I'm stood here with Captain Jack Sparrow and Captain Barbosa, and I want to ask you fellas one question. What's your best pirate joke? Best pirate joke I've got is what football team do pirates support? I don't know. What team do they support? Arsenal. Oh, that's a good one. And yourself? Why do pirates bury their treasure only 18 inches below the ground? I don't know. Why do they bury it only 18 inches below the ground? Because booty is only shin deep. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well, the one for you. What did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? I'm 80. Good afternoon, my birds. Well, I'm Mary Reed. I was born on the Barbican in 1690, and I was a pirate after I served with the British Army in the Netherlands. Wow. So you served in the army. How did you get into piracy? Well, the ship I was on to come back from the army was raided by those pirates, Calico Jack Rackham, who designed a pirate flag, and Anne Bonny. So he designed the, the skull and crossbow. Yeah. I've lost my voice, I'm so shocked. <laughs> I'm actually learning something now. Yeah, he designed, he's credited with having designed the, the um, skull and crossbones. Wow, that is pretty impressive. And uh, how did you get the, the, the bruise on your face there? I had a little run in with the uh, Marines earlier on, you know, they thought I was nicking something. I explained that I'm not nicking anything, I'm just borrowing it and then I dealt with it. Those Marines, they just don't know when to quit, right? No. So one question before we go, what is your best pirate joke? I have no pirate jokes because living as a pirate is not a joke, it is very, very serious. Well, I have one for you, are you ready? Yeah. What did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? I don't know. I'm matey. You never see it coming. You say that my money's the best for rice. You're done there. Don't make me say that joke. Uh, what's your favourite pirate joke? Uh, it's far too rude. Far too rude. What's your favourite? What did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? Oh, she knew it! You're the only one! What does a pirate clean the bog with? I don't know, what does a pirate clean the bog with? Harpick! Nice! See? 
That's good. Thank you so much. Oh, what's the name of your band, by the way? Uh, Tricorn Shonky. And what would you describe your music as? Shonky music for a shonky populace. It's uh, sea shanties and jigs and reels and a few of our self-penned music, which is a bit like music hall, but with a piratical flavour. I have never heard the word shonky before. It means disreputable, low quality, disreputable, bound to break. So, a, a, a bit like my cameraman's shonky camera work. So I'm stood here with... Wilson. King Fergus. King Fergus! We were trying to work out who you were. Ariel. And Ariel! The mermaid? Oh, what are you doing out of the water? This is going to be incredibly dangerous. Oh, I see. You stole her out the sea! Yeah, I gotta throw her back in later. Oh, well that sounds like a horrible day! Yeah, well, that's okay. Well, you're, <laughs> you're both looking fantastic, but I have a question for you before we go. What is your best pirate joke? I'm far too many dad jokes. Well, that's what we're looking for. I want to know where everybody is, and we're looking for the others, and where are they? Where are they? You're such a father. What? Do you have one? What, me a father? Or? No, 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 a dad, no, no, a pirate joke. A pirate joke? Well, no, but I know about the booty. Oh, well, I've got one for you two, are you ready? What did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? No. I'm 80! <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I'm here with Chaz Singh down at Plymouth Pirate Weekend on the Barbican. How are you doing, buddy? Mate, fantastic. Uh, the weather's out, we've had two days of sunshine. Uh, absolutely fantastic, great environment, great atmosphere, really good to be living in Plymouth. Yeah, I'm having a good time, I know that for sure. Right, I want to ask you one thing, yeah? What's your favourite pirate joke? You know, oh man! You know you want it. You put me on the spot now. Um, but it's not my joke, it's your joke. Oh, I'll tell you, hang on, I'll tell you what. I, I should contact Schweppes, Cambridge Schweppes, and say let's relive the, the R White's Lemonade advert. R White. Oh, I'm a secret lemonade drinker. Always, oh, always. Oh, I'm trying to keep it up, but it's one of those now. Always, always. Remember where you heard it first. I don't actually have a joke for you. Reens has a joke for you, so you, so you should come over here and tell him your joke. Ah. Okay. What did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? <laughs> Hi, matey! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hang on, I got one. So, uh, three pirates walk into a bar, and somebody scores three treble twenties, and the commentator turns around and he goes, 180! You never see it. I think he just stole my joke and changed it, but alright. <laughs> so, I'm stood here with the authentic Captain Jack Sparrow. Say hello to everyone. Hello everybody, nice to see you. And I don't know your name, I'm afraid. It's Mary. And we've come here today to ask you one question only. What is your best pirate joke? Um, that I can do in front of children? Well, it would have to be, what's a pirate's favorite shop? I don't know, what is a pirate's favorite shop? And some ours. Oh no, that's, okay, do you have one? I do. Why are pirates called pirates? Why are pirates called pirates? Because they are. I got one for you two. What did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? No idea. I'm 80. <laughs> you can use that one for yourselves. Bosun Brian and Captain Ali, say hello. Uh -huh. Captain Ali, that's me. Captain Ali. Uh, I just want to ask you guys, how have you found the whole weekend? Oh, it's absolutely fabulous, yeah. We love it. Every year we come to this and it's the best one around. It's a good pirate weekend, this yeah. one. How many have there been so far? Oh, oh. I don't know, because we've been coming, what, about four years? Oh, something uh, like that. Oh. four or five years yeah, we've been yeah, coming. Yeah. Yeah. Four or five years. Four or five years. Yeah. Okay, so where's been your favourite place to sail as pirates? <laughs> oh, oh that would be telling though, won't it, eh? I'm trying oh, to find your treasure, you see. <laughs> you ain't going to find it. <laughs> okay, I got, I got a question for you. Are you ready? All right. All right. What is your favourite pirate joke? <laughs> we don't do pirate jokes, we do Punch and Judy. <laughs> punch and Judy? <laughs> you must have loads of jokes. That is, a big, no, that is the biggest joke around. Oh, that is, yeah. Oh, it's, the, it's me. He's old Jack. 
Sparrow, of course. Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow, do you have a favourite uh, pirate joke of your own? A favourite pirate joke? We are all jokes together, you know, all uh, ass pirates. <laughs> we certainly are. <laughs> and what have you done with uh, Punch and Judy? Are they still around or have you, you buried them somewhere? Uh, well, Punch and Judy, they're downstairs. They're having a little rest at the moment because uh, the show is really telling on them. Oh, yeah. But we're always here and we're having lots and lots of fun here at Plymouth. <laughs> well, I appreciate your time, Captain Jet. Let me shake your hand. Thank you so much. I'm stood here with a real life bandit highwayman who's going to tell us how he feels about today. I think today has been really good, very awesome. And how many people have you robbed? A lot. I've lost count how many I've robbed so far. Okay, and now one last question before you go. What is your best pirate joke? Why are pirates pirates? I don't know. Why are pirates called pirates? Because they are! <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, I'll tell you my joke. What did the pirate say on his 18th birthday? I don't know. Hi, matey! Very good. You're welcome. You can use that all day. So we're going to finish up here at the uh, Pirate Weekend. We've had a pretty, um, how do you describe it, weird day. Seen some pretty good people, told some pretty great jokes. And uh, we'll leave you with this wonderful band playing their sea shanties. Peace out.